Okay, here we go. What we're going to do is, yesterday in class, we built a simple network using Packet Tracer with two routers and um, three networks. We had a network on each end of the router, and then we had a network between the routers. And then what I usually do in class, in Cisco CCNA class, is we actually try to get on the actual physical routers and um, and use physical routers because something happens there that's a little bit different. All right, so what we're going to do is I'll just bring this over here, and we'll take a quick look at these routers. And Kyle, we let me see if the, in the com in the computer if that's showing up. Is that okay? All right, so I've got here some old routers here. These are Cisco 1700 routers, all right? And they're pretty simple routers. They've got high-speed serial interfaces here. So this is serial 0, or serial 0 slash 0, and this is serial 0 slash 1, right? They've got um, an Ethernet interface, only one, right here. Okay, and that's a, a, a 10 100 fast Ethernet interface. Okay, and then over here is the console connection, the console port. This is where you would do a console connection from computer to manually, or the first time you configure a router, you go through uh, the console connection. Okay, so um, that's right there. We'll plug that in. This is a console cable, it's a, a serial. You can see it. Well, I'll show it to you in a second, but we'll plug that console cable in right there. And then this is an auxiliary port below there, and that would be usually hooked up to a modem or some type of um, modem device, and we don't use that too often anymore. I've never actually used an auxiliary port to uh, use a modem to uh, telephone into the router. I've not done that. Um, dial into the router, essentially, right? So uh, we've got an Ethernet port. We've got serial ports, two of them, right? And we've got a console port right here. So we have two routers. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about was these um, serial cables that we have, the high-speed serial cables that we have set up. As I said yesterday in the video, these serial cables um, are uh, pretty interesting. Uh, when, you, uh, when you get them like this, this is the uh, male end. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's the male end, right? That's the female end, right? And the female end is the DCE, okay? And then the male end is the DTE. So, and they fit in together like this, right? And you have to remember which one's which, okay? So on my left is here, this side is the, D, is the DTE, and the female is the DCE, right? And then you can screw them together and whatnot, just like that. And if you look at the end here, I've probably written on there, I've written on the end, um, I've written on the end right here on the, on the um, label DCE, right? And then this is the, the DTE, the DTE end right here, right? And why is that important? The DCE end is what gets a clock rate on the interface, and the DTE and does not get a clock rate on the interface. So if we look at these routers right here, right, we've got to figure out which one is which right here, right? So hopefully I wrote something on the end here, and it looks like I did, and this one says DTE, and this one says DCE. So the bottom router is going to be our DCE, and the um, top router will be our DTE. And both of them are connected to serial zero, right? So what did we say? The top one is going to be the DTE. The bottom one is going to be the DCE. All right, now um, let's take a look at this right here. The console cable, we look at it right here, attaches console cable attaches to the COM port, right? The console cable attaches to the COM port, COM1, on your uh, serial port on your computer, right? Serial port. And so now and that's our console cable, right? All right? Special cable. It's a special cable for a special type of connection to a router, right? Let's take a look at the board here. 
show you what we're going to set up. Kyle, you're going to help me get that squared away, so make sure that they can see it. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do today is, and I don't know if this video is going to work or not, but I thought we'd just do it so that we show everybody else in the class what we're doing right here in the lab, right? Okay. What we're going to do is we've got the two routers. Router one is on the bottom. Router two is on the top. Right now I'm going to say that this is going to be our DTE, and this is our, going to be our DCE on the bottom, okay? All right? And so the router one's on the bottom, router two is on the top, let's say. And this is a serial connection in between. We just looked at the serial cable, right? And router one, the bottom router, is going to have a crossover cable to an XP client. And that XP client is going to have a 192.168.1.100 address, right? 1.100. And that means the router will be... 192.168.1.1. So we'll need to make the router's interface 1.1. Client is 1.100, right? Then in between the two routers, we're going to have the 10 network, 10.0.0.0 slash 8, and the bottom router will be 10.0.0.1 and the top router will be 10.0.0.2 and we're going to have to configure that on the routers right and we're going to have to configure the ethernet port on the client on this uh, XP client also okay so so far this router is going to need two interfaces configured it's going to need FA fast ethernet 0 slash 0 configured and serial 0 slash 0 connected and this router is going to need serial 0 slash 0, serial interface connected, and it's fast Ethernet FA 0 slash 0 configured, right? And um, this guy over here, for this top router and this Ethernet port, instead of a crossover cable, cable we're going to have a straight through cable, which is going to connect to a hub, right? A hub. So it's a straight through to a hub, and then from the hub to the, to the PC, the PC is going to be 172.16.1.100 slash 16, and the router will be 172.16.0.1 slash 16. All right? We're going to configure that right now, right here on the lab on these physical machines. Now, we'll... We'll look back here, and I'll show you guys a couple of things here. Right here, I've got a crossover cable. I've marked it with a, a C on it, so I know it's crossover cable. Now, in the, um, in the we're, when we talk about cabling the network, we're going to talk about crossover cables and straight-through cables. And basically, there's three types of cables that you need to know in Cisco. Your crossover cable, your straight-through cable, and then what's called a rollover cable. And a rollover cable is actually a console cable, a rollover cable. So um, this is an example of a rollover cable right here, right? You can make one of these too, but you will need a special connector so that you connect RJ45, right, Ethernet, to the um, COM port, to the serial port on your computer. So if I do this, right, and I use this adapter, show you this adapter. All right, let's see here. Can you see that? It's got serial on one end. It's got an RJ45 on the other end. And you could use it. You could plug that in there. And now you could plug that into the, the serial port on the back of your computer. And that's a console cable. So you could make your own cable and then buy one of these adapters if you needed to. Also, a lot of laptops today don't come with serial ports. If you're going to be a network admin or, you know, IT admin and you buy a laptop, you might want to check to see if it has a serial port. Most laptops today don't. Of course, you could get an adapter USB to serial and then you'd be all right. So if you don't have one, don't fret. No big whoop. All right. Then, all right, I hope this is coming through. All right. And then our other computer, here you go, Kyle, why don't you carry this right here? So this is this computer, and what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, you can put that right here. I'm going to plug in 
you can see this. I'm going to plug in, thanks Kyle, this crossover cable to our Ethernet port, right? Okay. And then the other end, I'm going to plug in, now come on down here. The other end, I'm going to plug in directly into the Ethernet port on the router. And once again, since I'm going directly from the PC to the router, it's a crossover cable, right? All right, come on back up here. Now, this other laptop here, you can see this is a hub, ancient hub, right? This yellow cable is plugged into this PC over here. And now this blue cable, I'm going to take that, all right? And if we come down here, here's the end of this, this is a straight through cable. And I'm going to plug that in to the Ethernet port on the top router. Okay, so that's connected. Now the reason I can do that straight through to the um, router is because I'm going to the hub first. So from the hub to the router, I can use a straight through cable. And then from the hub to the PC, I can also use a straight through cable. But if I'm going directly from the PC to the router, I need a crossover cable. All right.